In this tutorial, I'm going to do an overview of Google Sites, and it's a great place where you can create a website very easily, and you just need to be logged into your Google account, and then once you go to the web address, uh, sites.google.com, um, then you'll see this screen. Um, these are other websites that I already created for training purposes, but I'm going to create another one. Uh, you can browse different sites available or go to deleted sites, but uh, I'm going to create a new one. So I just clicked on the create button. I'm going to start with a blank template because blank, um, a blank template is much easier to use. You can select a theme or browse in the gallery, but you're going to run into possibly some more problems that way. So let's go and I'll just do English 10. And then there's my web address and I'm going to click on create. So English 10 is the name of my site and then this web address regardless you can't change that then but this name of the site you can actually change in the future. So English 10, um, a brief overview, this is what everything looks like. I can search the site, I have a site map of all the different pages and then this is my page. It works very similar to a wiki and up top you just have an edit button button for each page. So just click edit and then you can rename this welcome and then you can start typing whatever you want to type in here and then once you're done with editing you can just click on the save button and that site is now updated. If you want to go back in let's say we wanted to add a picture or add some something else you can click edit page and then up top there's a couple different menu options so the first one is insert and this is where you can insert images or a link or other options like the table of contents there's gadgets uh, HTML stuff or this is where you can get stuff from your drive so whether that's a document or an image or a spreadsheet or presentation Google Plus stuff is there uh, hangouts YouTube videos, all this stuff is available on. If that's not available, then you can click more gadgets, and there's more things available in here that you can add. So that's probably the most powerful menu right there, the insert. And then the next one over is format, and this is just using headings and superscript and subscript and aligning. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. If you want to do a table, Again, pretty straightforward. A layout, this is something new that you probably want to be aware of. So right now we're in a one column. We could go to two column or three column or a header and footer with one column, header and footer with two columns, or so on. So however you want to organize your site, I'll do, let's say, two columns. Now I have a place to edit here, and I also have a place to edit here. So I can do put more information out there and it's good for pictures and good for the way things are displayed on your actual site and then a help button if you need a help and there's also all these tools and um, bullets and everything else across the top so I'm going to click save again and that pretty much goes through how to edit a page so let's go through and add a new page so I'll go chapter one and when I add a new page, I can select a page template if I want. I'm just going to do web page. And then do I want to put it under welcome? Yeah, sure. And then click on create. So this is just the way it's organized on the side there. So now I have welcome, and then I have chapter one. I could do chapter two, chapter three, and so on. So once I have one of these pages, I can add comments if I want to add comments or add files. This is only available to people that have access to edit your page. I can type some stuff in there, then click save, and now I have page one, page two, and I can add as many pages as I want, which is nice. For this option, this is all of your settings and you can go into page settings or moving a page or templates or site layout. I won't go into too much detail on this, I'm just going to show you that it's available. Um, this is managed site is probably the most important and this is where you can change if you want to get rid of ad files and comments and searching the site and backgrounds and all that fun stuff. So um, 
let's go into Manage Slate. I'll show you this one thing. So down here, Themes and Colors. So click on Themes, Colors, and Fonts. And this is where we can change maybe the background. So now I have a yellow background and maybe site header. I can change that to green. So this is where you can customize what the colors are. You can also add pictures in there if you want it to. Um, but this is where that is done. Click Save. And now I'll go back to the main page. And the last thing that I'm going to show you in Google Sites is the fact that you can share. And you can share your pages either individually um, like page by page you can do sharing settings or you can do sharing settings for the whole entire site and it's nice because you can keep everything in your school district or you can send this out to the world so that's completely up to you alright so let's go back here and if I click on share so right now it says people at suddenly high can find and access I'm gonna click share and right here is where I can change it, it works very similar to how sharing works in your drive. So I'm going to click share. I can have it public on the web, public anyone with the link, Southern Lehigh, Southern Lehigh with the link, specific people, and then anyone within Southern Lehigh can edit or do I want them to view. Here's where you do enable page level permissions. Once you do enable page level permissions, then it's everything's per page. So this is for the whole entire site. If this will go away if I do enable, enable page level permissions. So we'll click save and we'll be done. So that's a brief overview. There's a lot more to it and there's a lot more little features, but that's a pretty good overview of Google Sites.